welcome. We've got a lot of plants down here. Some of them not looking too good though. So we're going to have a bit of a reshuffle, get everything in place for summer, which is going to be a hot one, I reckon. Let's have a look at those that made it and those that didn't. Let's go. Oh, goody. This one I like. This is my midgen berry. And it's flowering. I really like these berries. Strange blueberry eucalyptus -y type thing. Australian native. It looks like we'll get a few off that again this year. Things that have made it. I have here my... If I can get it. My star apple. Sorry about the label being upside down. This is one I was very concerned about because it's not suited well to our climate. So we'll see how he goes in summer. Got a yellow mangosteen here. My macadamia. And if we go down here, we'll see one that didn't survive. And this is another mangosteen. It's a lemon drop. And I'm not sure why it didn't live, but it's definitely defunct. Might see if we can get another one of them or we'll pick something else. In here, we have my Atherton raspberry, which for some reason I just cannot grow. I wonder what that white is on it. Anyone got any ideas? Let me know. But again, it died on me. I don't have too much trouble with raspberries normally, as we can see. Lots of raspberries up the fence. I think I'll blow the Atherton raspberry or raspberry. <laughs> ah, shame. Moving along, this was a black currant, and I can grow black currants here because I've got one over here. Well, actually, that's a white currant, but there's a black currant that I've grown from seed, so I can get them to grow. But that one is not looking healthy, and eventually. So that kicked the bucket, so we'll clear that tub out as well. All right, I've got a lot of passion fruit in here that I've got to get out and get planted, so we shall do that as well. Again, my young berries didn't make it. I'm going to have to look up to see what the growing conditions of young berries are a bit more, because I'm really struggling to keep them alive. So in the meantime, I popped in a tennis ball passion fruit. Oh, so we can get fit and play tennis. Well, maybe not. I put a picture of it up in the uh, corner and a bit of a description of what they are, but they're a large red, pink uh, passion fruit. So I will train him to grow up here where I was hoping to grow young berries, but that wasn't to be. Potatoes. But unfortunately, caterpillars got to it and look what they did in just a couple of days. So I think I'm going to rip them all out. Now, unfortunately, I got a few decent sized potatoes out of this, but most of them were absolutely tiny. And I always seem to have a problem with potatoes. I can't seem to grow them very well. Don't know why. I follow the instructions I find on YouTube and gardening shops and all that, and I buy proper seed potatoes in most cases. But still, my potato crops are terrible. I've tried them in ground. I've tried hilling. I've tried not hilling. I've tried burying them deep. I've tried everything that I can think of. And look at that. Tiny, tiny little potatoes. I think because this one was uh, so badly damaged by the caterpillars and it didn't have time to grow fully. But I thought it was getting close anyway because it had flowered. Unfortunately not. So there we have a few of our good, bads and uglies. Uh, some of this stuff worked out all right, but some of it not so good and dead and gone and buried. I'll keep trying. We'll keep going. See how we uh, do. But in the meantime, enjoy life. And I'll catch you in the garden.